I hide behind the sofa, quivering in fear. Now that the daytime hour is near, the curtains are dark and drawn real tight. The room is quiet and I've turned out the light. The daytime crew is lots of fun, but this is the time they'll make me run. The TV volume is turned down low. I sit and cower, it's time for the show. My heart is pounding, my breath is shallow. My mouth is dry and it's hard to swallow. And now this time when I live in dread, but not of monsters or the undead. I might jump out of my skin in fear, because the daytime fright is here. <laughs> Good morning to you and happy Halloween and welcome to a special edition of Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fonz. And I'm Brittany Flowers. And we are all dressed up. We're going to get to that in just a moment, but yeah. we have a great Halloween show for you. We're stopping by Rock Paper Beauty Lounge to meet up with makeup artist Lindsay Lene. She's going to do some Halloween makeup for us and she will teach you how to achieve these beautiful or scary looks. Yes, I'm so excited about that. Plus, if you are looking for fun Halloween inspired DIY decorations, we're going to walk you through what you need and how to create a few adorable decorations. You'll love it. Uh huh. And then we're going to show you how to make a few Halloween <laughs> treats. Look at this. These are simple and cute things that you can make and your kids are going to love them. Yes, we'll also be making a few candy inspired cocktails. Mixologist Ashley Vincy has the recipe for a Starburst candy cocktail and a Twix Martini, who said the candy was just for the kids. Oh. She'll be teaching us uh, those recipes in just a little bit. That looked really good. And every Halloween, we have a parade of costumes. So we're going to, we've invited our little friends yes. to the show. They're arriving right now, and we're going to be showing off their costumes coming up. That's my favorite part. I know. I'm so excited. Like, about I love it. the, I love the costumes. I love dressing up, but I love to yes. see the little, little ones. The little ones are the best part. It I really know. is. Yes. All right. So for Halloween this year, we are doing punny costumes. Yes, we are. Okay, so throughout the show, we're going to be changing, and we want you to play along. So when you see our costumes, we want you to guess what we are. Yes. Okay, so uh -huh. here's the first costume. Take a look. If we have the picture, there we are. What are we doing? <laughs> Who knows? I love it so, so much. So, yeah, head on over to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Ridge and tell us what you think we are. Yes, absolutely. We have props and everything for this one. Yes, very important to take a note of the props. Yes, that's your big hint. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what are your girls dressing up as tonight? Okay, so I told you last week I didn't know what we were gonna do. And yes. then this weekend we went away and my girlfriend, her mom made all of her girls costumes every single year. Oh, wow. So I texted her, I said, hey, do you have any extra? costumes, yes. right? I'm thinking, okay? Yes. She did. She had some great ones. So, and I'll share the pictures tomorrow because I didn't yeah. yet I put know. them on them. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even know if they fit. I was like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you wear that. Good, good, good. Done. Halloween's yes. done. So they are going as a pirate and a cowgirl. Oh. How about your kids? So cute. Okay. Um, well, so I got to pick everybody's costumes last year. Mm -hmm. And so Cannon said he gets to pick all of the costumes this year. So Cannon is Spider-Man. Sawyer is Hulk because she is Sawyer the Destroyer. She destroys everything she touches. <laughs> um, I am Thor, which I had to, the cheaper option for me was to buy a little boy's costume. So Ooh. I got a major wedgie with that one. Ooh, and nice. Topher is Iron Man. So oh, I love this. A family of supers. Okay. Tonight you at take the a Flowers picture. house. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. All right well, while we love getting dressed up, many people love dressing up their dogs. And check this out. A Halloween costume contest for dogs gave new meaning to best in show <laughs> yesterday in Peru. <laughs> oh my gosh. Halloween has gone to the dogs as pampered pooches competed for the title of best dress. The trick or treat fashion show was held in a park in Peru's capital. Costumes included a dinosaur, banana split, a pirate. Some of the owners got into the Halloween spirit too. An applause meter was used to determine the three most creative costumes. Winners went home with prizes of dog food products. Um, the top dog posed for photos but <laughs> seemed unmoved by the win. The proud owners, on the other hand, reveled in victory. The Halloween, Howl-oween, get it? Uh -huh. Event also offered free anti-parasite treatments 
and rescue dogs were available for adoption. I'm always amazed that these dogs will wear the costumes. I know. Like, They're like unfazed. You're a dog. You don't have to do that. I know. All right, the big trend these days, podcasts. Yes. Okay. Brittany's a big fan. Someone described listening to a good podcast as like having someone read to you or like hanging out with your best friends, even though you can't respond to anything that they say. Yes. All right. Okay, so if you love a good scary story, here are a couple of good scary podcasts for you. And you may chime in because I think you know of some of these. Yes, absolutely. First up, My Favorite Murder. It's one of okay. my favorite podcasts. If you like true crime books, mm -hmm. then why are you wasting your time not listening to My Favorite Murder? Mm -hmm. Hilarious host Karen and George to talk through real murders, serial killers, and grisly disappearances. I don't know why that's funny, but it's equal it's, parts nauseating and funny. It and is, it will instantly it convince you that there is an axe murderer hiding under your bed right now at this very moment. <laughs> oh my is goodness. that true? No, nah, I mean, not really. You, they teach you to be more aware of your surroundings, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, so right, I think it's helpful, and yes, it's funny, but don't listen to it in front of your kids. Okay, mm -hmm. next up, it's Black Tapes. Ooh, scary. The this Black Tapes good. follows one journalist on his quest for the truth and the ghosts that he finds along the way. If you like your horror with a heaping helping of mystery, this is the audio drama for you. <laughs> that, that one is scary. Okay. Yes. All right. Limetown. Do you know anything Ooh, about Limetown? I, I don't know this one. This is interesting. So 10 years ago, 300 people vanished from a small town mm -hmm. in Tennessee. Uh, American public radio reporter Leah Haddock wants to get to the bottom of what exactly happened to the residents of Limetown all those years ago, but her search begins to lead her in unexpected directions. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. All right, next up, lore. Each episode tells the frightening true stories behind folklore, urban legends, and the classic monsters of campfire stories. I think that would be fun. Yeah. Um, from vampires to body snatchers, lore uncovers the unsettling truth behind every facet of the horror genre. Catch up before starting in on the new lore TV show. Yeah, isn't that so interesting? You went from podcast to TV show. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, and finally, an Alice isn't dead. Oh yeah. Have you heard this, this one? one. Mm -hmm. They say this is one weird road trip. Yeah. The serial story follows a truck driver as she searches for her missing wife, Alice, who hopefully isn't dead. Mm -hmm. Along the way, she encounters ghost towns, gaps in time, and a dizzying conspiracy that may or may not have to do with Alice's disappearance. Yeah, that one's spooky. Like, really spooky and, like, very well done. It's super creative. Yeah. So. All right, so hopefully you got that written down and yeah. you can check them out. Yeah. But we